you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. This isn't really going to be a tutorial. It's going to be something that I don't really do, which is try to do a likeness transformation. Likeness transformations aren't really something that I do. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun little experiment. And uh, yeah, clearly you've read the title. You see this lovely plaid shirt. Um, yeah, this isn't really the video that, um, anyone probably needs, but it might be, uh, the video you deserve in this weird time we're living in. So yes, as the title said, I'm going to be trying to transform myself into the Tiger King himself, Joe Exotic. Yeah, don't really have a game plan, just gonna kinda go for it. So I have more of a upturned nose than Mr. Joe Exotic, so I think I'm going to just build a little bit of a tip with some mortician's wax. So I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you have watched uh, Tiger King on Netflix. If you have not, I really don't know what you're doing here, um, but welcome, hello to you. So if you have watched it, what did you think the craziest part was? Because I found that in uh, pretty much every episode you're like, oh, it's uh, definitely not going to get any crazier than this, and then boom, there's another plot twist. So let me know down below what you thought the craziest part was. Also, let me know if you think Carol killed her husband. Because low-key, she probably did. So I am currently staying at home. My work is not open. I am a tattoo apprentice. I'm a permanent makeup artist in my real life, if you did not know that. Um, so clearly can't really social distance when you're tattooing people. So we are closed right now, and I've been at home for <laughs> almost two weeks now, going slightly insane. Um, what about everyone out there in the world? Do you live in the US? Uh, do you live somewhere else? Is your area hit hard by this? I live in Georgia. We are, um, you know, Kind of a hot spot within the US. I'm not gonna like correct my under eye bags or anything like that because it's just gonna be like a lot of layers. And he's a little bit on the pink side. Like, you know, that kind of like leathery, like seen a lot of sun kind of color. But all of the foundations I have are more on the yellowy. So we're just gonna work with what we've got here. Now we're talking. So tan. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been this tan in my entire life. I'm doing this in the dead of night because I live with my parents. They are also at home for the moment. Both of them work in essential business but they're able to work from home so they've been working from home so during the daytime there's noise the only noise you might hear now is we have an owl in our yard and it obviously comes out at night and meatball my mastiff 
really loves birds. And when he hears the owl, he attempts to communicate. So at some point, that might happen. Oh, wow. Oh, God. I'm like really tan. <laughs> I'm not going to powder yet because I figured I'd do some cream contouring as and highlighting as well as powder. So I don't want to powder yet. So I'm going to map out. It's kind of dark. Um, his facial hair. He's got a very thick mustache, but then thin little... I've seen people do this already. I've seen some people on Instagram, seen some memes of people. You know, people are bored, so they're doing all sorts of stuff in their homes. So I'm not saying I'm the first person to do, to do this, because that's just false. But I just thought it would be fun, and I haven't done makeup in a while, because I'm very busy at work. kind of comes down like good rounded I have a very rounded full face so going to a more sunken in face is the challenge I finally convinced my parents to watch it because they hadn't yet and I was like I need people to talk about this with I mean I was talking about it with my sisters but they're not you know in the house so I was like I got to talk about it with somebody and I finally finished it today and they ended it you know feeling bad for Joe I didn't necessarily feel bad for Joe it just kind of opened my eyes to how twisted that whole kind of community is but I'm curious as to like what other people feel like. Did you feel bad for Joe? Were you like, well, that was, that, you got what was coming to you, dude. Like, I'm curious. But then this side like is kind of weird. And he's got, you know, defined smile lines. Has anyone, if you're quarantining or social distancing, has anyone taken up any new hobbies? I'm getting back into painting which I'm pretty thrilled about. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting um, the paintings that I've been doing on my story. And also I'm doing a lot of gardening with my mom. There was a stint where like I hadn't been like outside in a while. And the other day I finally went outside just in our backyard and did some gardening with my mom. And it was like so nice to be outside. I have some really crazy eyebrows, especially in this mugshot. And like the eyebrow ring. I mean, we'll talk about the eyebrow ring later because I made the eyebrow ring. But like that thing is holding on by just like wishes, like actual wishes. I feel like we're already getting there. Slash, I don't really know. <laughs> Tell me down below if at this point in this video, you feel like we're getting somewhere. It's really hard for me to tell. Guess I should probably powder this region too. And the ears. Seriously, my face ID no longer um, knows my face. 
So I guess that means something's happening. don't really do these chatty videos, these chit chat get ready with me's. Um, I don't really do those. I always do voiceovers, but since this isn't really a tutorial, it's like, I don't really know how, what I do as a voiceover. So I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk. We're just gonna figure it out as we go. And if it's horrible, no one will watch it because my YouTube channel is dead anyway. And if it's great, it's great. I put quite a few years into trying to build a YouTube channel. It just never really did anything. And then I just took a big break from it. Cause I was trying to figure out what to do with my life. And then by then it was too late for me to come back because just the platform had changed so much. The algorithms and all that, it just changed so much. So, like I couldn't just like come back to my channel because it just like <sighs> I don't know why people want to own tigers and like big cats and exotic animals maybe it makes them feel powerful He's got some more brow wrinkles. That might have been too harsh. But it's like this shadow that he has, like, goes into these ones. I'm just using that cream highlighter that I used earlier to go back in and put some more defined highlights. bad that the more that I look at pictures of this man that I feel like we look the same. Like I'm like, our features are like just the same. That's kind of troubling to me. Thank you. 
Oh, I gotta line my waterline with black too. Cause he just wears a hint of eyeliner. It honestly looks, it almost looks like permanent makeup. But permanent makeup artist knowledge here, but so with permanent cosmetics, they you don't, you don't do it on the waterline. Um, but just the color it is, it almost looks like just like really old tattoo ink. But I really wouldn't do that on the waterline. So I guess he just puts eyeliner on every day. Feels good to push myself and do makeup again. I do miss it sometimes. But then also, if I'm being super real, like sometimes I don't because it's just like I would spend so much time on something, like hours and hours and hours doing it, and then hours and hours and hours editing it. And then I'd, ooh, that's gross. That's wax and I'd post it and it would get like no views and it just it just it it sucked all the fun out of it for me I just wanted to be real with people like my followers and just like enjoy doing makeup and it just became so taxing that I just really needed to like get away from it because I just like wasn't enjoying it anymore it just like just doing it to do it and I was doing it because I had spent so much time getting into it and I didn't want to give up because I didn't want all that time to be wasted but it was just like killing me uh, so I just stopped I just stopped Whenever I do post, people are like, oh, I've missed you, I've missed you, like, where'd you go, what have you been doing? And it's just like, I just like, feel like I grew away from makeup, like, it just, I didn't have a passion for it anymore. And it just felt forced and fake. So I just stepped away from it and found other things that I enjoyed. So, and I made some for his earrings too, because he has like um, quite a few ear piercings and they're all stretched up to, um, not too large on their own, but when you see that he has like three in each ear, it's a little crazy. Um, just like captive bead rings in his ears. So I just made these little, little <laughs> doodads. I'm quite proud. Come on out of beads and wire. It's just dangling by a prayer and a wish. It's not even like on his eyebrow anymore. It's like down here. So that's where I'm gonna stick it. <laughs> I'm just putting a good layer of Prozade. And I put some on the ring as well.
because it's just held in and not migrated out by like the thinnest piece of skin. <laughs> so I just did like a really tiny bit. Oh, let me try calling my sister. Please answer. Oh my God. Please answer. If she doesn't answer, I'm going to be really upset. Hello? What are you doing? <laughs> Do I look like the Tiger King? Yes. I know exactly who you were. <laughs> I'm so glad I answered. I almost did it. I was like, she's got to be awake still. <laughs> you got an eyebrow ring and everything. Yeah, look, it's held in by like a tiny piece of fake skin. I'm gonna put a mullet on too. <laughs> so I look good? Yes. Good, I couldn't tell. Okay, um, I'm gonna say goodbye so I can finish my video. Okay. Peace out. Okay. Keep it wild. <laughs> I have this wig that has bangs. I figure I tuck up the thing so you see this, but then it reads mullet. So that's the plan in theory. I'm gonna put it on and I'll be right back. I left little breaks in the little earrings I made so I can, they're basically clip-ons with like slightly more danger because it's, you know, wire. So proceed with caution, but I only have single holes and they're not stretched, so. Oh yeah. I think the eyebrow ring is my favorite part because it's just hilarious. I wish I had like something in my wardrobe similar to one of his like sparkly shirts that he wears because you know I would have been in that instead of plaid like I've got some sparkly stuff but not Joe Exotic style well guys tell me what you think what do you um, how do you think I did for my first uh Trans I can't even take myself seriously. Um, so guys, tell me what you think. Uh, do you think I did a good job? Do you think I did a horrible job? I'm gonna be social distancing and quarantined in my house for the next who knows how long. Um, per my county, at least two weeks, most likely. So I'll probably do more videos, who knows? Maybe this will be the resurgence of It's Gotta Be Sarah C on YouTube during this weird time. Uh, yeah, so let me know of other stuff down below if you'd like to see it. Other people from Tiger King. Um, or just like other makeup or life videos, whatever. Just let me know. This makeup done, uh, I think I'm gonna film a little montage now, yeah.